All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of In Touch with Steve Trondolo. Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince. This is Steve. It's an important week this week, Steve, and we'll get to it. But before we do, let's let's look back to look forward. I want to ask you one question about Orlando. Mm -hmm. You've been effusive in your praise of this team and finding different ways to win. You said it again in Orlando. How is this match different? We came across a very good Orlando side in the first half. Um, we prepared the guys for that. We knew ahead of time they are a good team. Um, if you give them time and space and make it easy on them, as we did in the first half, it can be a very good team, and they showed us that. We made some adjustments in the middle of the first half. Um, and then again at halftime, and the players responded very well. And so we knew we can play better, uh, and if we do that, then we have a good chance of winning the game. And that's exactly what the boys did, so I was very, very happy to see their response, and uh, it's more of what we've seen all season. Ilya takes it himself! Ilya Sanchez! The ball there! Oh, Donasso! Oh! It's a big week, which is why I'm clad head to toe in black and gold. Uh, it's a derby week. You know a thing or two about matches where it means just a little bit more than the three points that are on the line. So I want to ask you some questions about rivalries, derbies in general. And I want to start with your time in Germany with Hanover versus, and I'm going to do my pronunciation here, versus Eintracht Braunschweig. Mm -hmm. Is it, did I get it close at least? Yes, but you won't hear me say that word. Yes, you're not allowed to say it. Okay, but it's, and it's the Niedersachsen derby. Am I correct there? That is correct. Close yeah. enough. Yeah. You're, I saw yeah. your face. You're like, that is correct. Close enough. What's one moment that sticks out to you from that derby that made you realize, oh, it's different? Oh. One of them didn't go well. Um, and we were stuck at the training grounds, or, I'm sorry, at the, the stadium uh, for quite some time after the game. Things got a little heated and uh, between the fans and the team. How um, much time were we talking about you guys had to spend to feel like you could find A couple out? hours. A couple hours. And then it eventually comes down to some conversations um, between the players, and at that time myself and some of the fans. And you know, talking helps, uh, but it still doesn't erase the scoreline. So I understand the importance of these games. Well, on the international side, and we got to see another rendition of it again as the U.S. went to Azteca and got a point. You've obviously taken part in quite a few USA-Mexico games, and I think, fair to say, at least top five, maybe top three of an international rivalry in all of the world. But I want you to list for me what your ranking is. Germany-Holland is probably in Europe the, the nastiest rivalry. Where does USA-Mexico rank in your mind in top five world uh, rivalries? For me, too, is Mexico-USA. Uh, there, so there, there are some rivalries in, in, in parts of Europe that were not uh, shedding a whole lot of light on, so that's why I would say something like that would slip into the top five as well. If you've come to this show to hear from Steve how they're going to beat the Galaxy or what kind of effort they need to give, I have to apologize to you. This is the wrong show. <laughs> Steve will be a answering those questions all throughout the week. Those are not the questions I want to ask. I'm going to ask you about some rivalries, some sports related, some pop culture related. We would need to know where you stand on some other things. Perfect. Where do you stand, for instance, chocolate or vanilla? It's a rivalry. It's a big one. Are we talking about ice cream? I'm not gonna. I'm or not, general flavor. Chocolate versus vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. Short board versus long board. Short board. Surfer? Short board. Short board. Really? Again, short Did board. Did you learn on long board, or you just nope. went all short board? Short board my whole life. At some point, we'll have to make the adjustment, but I'm holding off as long as I can. Is the long board a well, retirement I, thing? Is that what? Kinda. You're yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Okay. MJ versus Kobe. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're gonna get progressively harder. MJ. Just grow, growing up watching MJ. Just, it's just in there. I, that's a tough one. If you would have said MJ or LeBron, mm -hmm. it would have been much easier. Why is that? Would have been more MJ. More, even more MJ. Yeah. Got it. But Clippers versus Lakers? Lakers. San Diego Mexican food versus LA Mexican food? Yeah, for sure. Very different. Tough to compare. Um, going off of my own experiences, burritos, San Diego, 100%, every day of the week. You never hear another answer out of me. Tacos in LA, much better. Star Wars versus Star Trek. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Way better. Not even close. Yeah, I never got into Not even close. Yeah. You've talked about your love of baseball. It's one of your second, I think yeah. you said second favorite sport. So, Giants versus Dodgers. 
Dodgers. Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, Dodgers. Our producer, when I was putting this together, he was said, well, Steve's from San Diego, and said, there's no such thing as a Padres fan. What? Ah, see, I knew I could get a little Come rise on. out of you. He thought maybe you would say, well, what about if the If you would have said that about the Chargers, I get that, but Padres, there's real Padres fans in San Diego. This is going to date both of us, but it's everyone has this debate. Beatles versus Stones. <sighs> I'm going to say Beatles. Well, there's no wrong answer in these. That's true. I can see you're dissatisfied you with love my both. answer. Well, I won't do it here. I won't raise my shirt, but I have a Rolling Stones-esque tattoo on my stomach. We'll, we'll save that for another episode. Hot dog versus bratwurst. Bratwurst. Oh, 100% bratwurst. And the final one, and this is probably the toughest. Chips Ahoy versus Oreos. Oreos. Oreos? Yeah. With milk or without? Ah, uh, without. Without? Yeah, without. Okay. That is another episode of In Touch with Steve Trundolo. We've settled all the rivalries here. The most important rivalries, of course, Steve will go into a big one this weekend. We'll talk about that with him next week. Steve Trundolo, thanks for joining us. Thank you.